What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today is a makeup video, and we are reviewing <laughs> no other than... Oh, got to hold them up. The Juvia's Place Magical Foundation and Concealers. Yes. So when I found out that they was having foundations and concealers coming out, I had to go get them. The first person I seen reviewing them was Nikki Tutorials. And everybody know Nikki Tutorials love her some full coverage. And I love me some full coverage too. So as soon as I seen it was online, I hurried up and went and snatched and grabbed some. So I didn't, this is my first time ever buying foundation and concealer offline. So I really didn't know how to like, face match them but y'all we're gonna see so i have in the foundation i have darker and <laughs> you know kenya so this is how the packages look kind of shiny because my dang on and i'm using natural light and i don't understand why i don't want to show but yeah, we just gonna work with that. But yeah, this is how it looks. This is the pretty little packaging they have. And I have the concealer in the shade 13 and 12. So let me show y'all how these look. So this one is 13. And this one is 12. They kind of look a similar like, but 12 is darker than 13. And what she did was she ranged the uh, colors from dark to lightest. Well, dark is the uh, lowest number and the lightest is the highest number on both the foundation and the concealers. Real, real dope. So if you look for your color, make sure you go to the highest number. If you're really a darker complexion, look for, I mean, not the higher number, the lowest number. And then if you are a lighter complexion, look for the highest number. And you will find your shade range. <clears throat> so since this is a Juvia's Place party, we are gonna do an eye look. We are gonna speed through it though. And we are gonna do an eye look using no other than the Juvia's Place palettes. I mean, I have damn near all of them anyway. <laughs> so, the palettes I'm going to be using is the Festival Palette and the Magical Mini Palette. So, you know, let's get started. All right, you guys, now for the fun part, right? <laughs> so we're going to swatch Kenya first and see how it is. I already prepped and primed my face for, I forgot to say that. I primed my face with this right here. And then I I said prime moisturize. I'm sorry, I moisturized my face with that. Then I used the Fenty Beauty Primer. And then I used, that was for my outer portion of my face. And then for my T-zone, which gets oily, I used my Sephora Beauty Amplifier, the Mattify H2O Gel. 
bomb, you guys. Bomb, bomb, bomb. And I did it in my T-zone, all around my mouth, and right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like I said, let's get to the bump board. So, this one is Kenya. A little too light. But it feels good, though. That's what it do do. It feels really good. I like how smooth it is when it goes on. And this is darker. So. I'm kind of digging darker more than Kenya. So. We are going to go with darker so and i heard a little goes a long way so this how much i'm going to be using sorry for my dirty hands and i'm going to be dampening it throughout the face no moss no moss no more that is it Y'all already know I wipes the hell out of my face with the makeup because y'all already know no makeup left behind, honey. <laughs> and I'm going to be using my beauty blender to blend all of it out. Yo. Yeah, darker is more on like the red undertone, which I am. I can actually mix them together. And this is a buildable foundation, buildable coverage. And honey, I am digging it, but honey, this is the truth, okay? This is this is lit I'm definitely feeling this foundation and it is matting down like like butter look at this it's really matting down like I love it see I know I go back and forth with my brush and my beauty blender to make sure all of it is blended out we don't need no little lines going on Taking them pictures, you're going to be like, what is going on with my face? We don't need those, okay? Honey child, let me tell you something. That is lit, baby. Look, okay? That looks like my skin, honey. Oh, baby, who are you? Okay. So, one thing I did have a mistake on, I did go a little too light with the concealer but we're gonna work with it anyway because we want to see what it's working with you feel me so i'm just gonna dot like that This look like a joint though, like, cause I like the lighter full cover, um, lighter coverage under my eyes anyway, cause you know you gotta conceal them bags. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my small beauty blender and blend it on out. Not too bad. I didn't do too bad. I thought I did. For sure, with number 13, is too light. But number 12 is just right for me. I love it. And it is blending down like butter, baby. This is phenomenal. This is a phenomenal. Oh, my God. Girl, who is you? Who is you? Hmm. Baby, this is a lit. 
I'm so in love, y'all. Too dang on in love. Like, Dubious Place did that with this foundation and concealer. Like, I freaking love it. So, y'all, we're going to see how this foundation pair of my regular routine that I always be having when I set my concealer and my foundation. Y'all already know, my MAC. So, we're going to see how it works with it. Mm -mm -mm. Honey, honey, girl, my face look like it's photoshopped, okay? It works really good with it. OMG, I am too happy with my foundation. Like, it's lit, you guys. Oh, girl, let me finish, let me finish. Let me do my contour routine and everything, and I'ma come back with my final results, all right? Yeah, I'll be back, I'll be back. <laughs> all right, you guys, so I am done with my look. And honey, let me tell y'all something. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. This foundation is lit, okay? Very much lit, and it's only $20. And like I said, little goes a long way. So you be having this for a quite of a while. So you getting your money's worth, like you're getting your money's worth. It's 30 milligrams, so yeah, I mean, it works amazing like you could just squeeze as much out as you want i mean i don't know what else to say like this foundation is lit like you just squeeze it out squeeze a dabble of whatever you want and that's it like i love the applicator it's it's bomb to me either like this or a pump it's good with me so and when you're doing other clients it's bacteria free you feel me? You ain't got to be dibbing and keep dibbing it. You just open it up, put it on your finger, put it on a little plate or whatever that you use to use the foundation on your client. And that's it, boo. That's it. Like, that's another reason why I like to do this place. Like, okay, the foundation is lit. Look at my face. Like, girl, I am golden. Oh, you know, it's still a Juvia's Place party, right? You see that highlight? You see it. You see it. Juvia's Place, Nubian. <laughs> what? Girl, you... <laughs> they lit. That's all I gotta say is Juvia's Place is lit, honey. So, if y'all don't got one, um, y'all some foundation, y'all better go run and go order y'all some because it's all the way the truth. But, without further ado, this video is coming to an end. So if you like this video, you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. Leave me a comment down below on what you think and you know already know. Until next time.